it's crazy the curveballs that'll get thrown at you when you're getting closer to something. I'm doing this so okay so this is my very first vlog I told y'all if you've been really watching my videos that I was gonna get into vlogging and I was just like today feels like a day I want to vlog so this is my very first one and I'm gonna be just I don't know like taking y'all along my Sunday journey like my typical Sundays I go to church come home watch movies sometimes after the church Sometimes after the church, after church, I go to the beach and I don't know, like write and journal and stuff. I don't know what I'm going to be doing today, but yeah, so this is my first vlog. It's a good Sunday to be alive and woke, so I hope you guys are feeling blessed, highly favored, and yeah, make sure y'all pray this morning, spend your time with God, give him all the glory, because you are still alive and well, you're awake, well I hope you're awake, y'all should be awake by the time that I post this, so yeah, so this is me, y'all get to see me transform, I'm feeling good today, so yeah, see you guys in a few. So I am late to church, but I am on the way, making it. Cause it's okay to be like a little late, you know what I'm saying? Like a little late is not that bad. like have those days where you just feel like hmm, I'm feeling myself today I think today might be one of those days okay so note to self don't be late to church because I have been driving around this parking lot for like five minutes with no luck no luck and I see people are parking like any kind of way show y'all because I already passed all the cars who was parked crazy but I bet if I do it I'll be the one to come outside to no car about to listen to what my best friend learned in church today and pastor smart is ready to go today in church we talked about sometimes you have to bring people to jesus and then move away and let the lord do his work this is pastor tyra smart on aisha youtube <laughs> <laughs> look at her look at how cute she is Tune in next Sunday for another word. And tune in on Wednesday night for Bible study. As well. My dog going to church twice a week. Get you a her. Get you a her. Okay? Okay. Intentional dating only, right, bestie? Intentional dating only. You can't lead me. Oh! We can't be equally yoked. If you are not trying to reach God like I'm trying to reach God. Yes. If the presence of God disgusted you, move out of my way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really posting this on my YouTube. 
Okay, first, let me just tell y'all, like, sometimes y'all have to excuse my best friend. Like, she's really crazy. I'm crazy, but I think she's got me in the in the craziness. But let me tell y'all about church. So, church was just, like, really amazing and just powerful today. Like, it was Baptism Sunday, and y'all, between three services, 87 people got baptized today. 87 people got baptized today and it's just so amazing to see like the pastor even gave us the opportunity to leave but like it was just so like I was just like wrecked I wasn't even getting baptized but I was just wrecked to see so many people want to give their life to Christ and it's just so like amazing to me when you know despite anybody's situation despite their circumstances you know like they they still choose the route like okay you know what i'm gonna give my life to christ or whatever and i'm just gonna give god all of me because i want him to meet me where i am and that's just so like great to me because it doesn't matter your walk of life like you know the things you've done the sins you've committed like you know we are all god's children and and so many people like the pastor even gave people the opportunity like y'all know how in church on baptism Sunday there's a set amount of people or whatever and you know well not a set amount of people um a set group of people because they've already like registered or you know it's already you know noted that they're gonna be getting baptized that day um but the pastor today like in in the midst of it all said you know what I've got y'all covered if there's anybody who decides like you know they feel they feel spiritually led to go give their life to Christ today go get changed or whatever we've got clothes in the back for y'all we've got undergarments we've got this we've got that we got y'all covered um y'all can go to the back or whatever and give your life to Christ today people literally started flooding to the back like started flooding to the back and it was just like an amazing thing to see like I Oh, I kid y'all not like, you know, little bitty kids to old, old elderly people or whatever got baptized today. And it just showed me like, you know, it doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter, you know, like how long you've been here. Like it's never too late and it's never too early. You get what I'm saying? Like I got baptized um, when I was like six. Um, yeah, I got baptized when I was six years old and you know like that was just like a part of like how my um how my family like raised me how my family like brought me and my little brother up and um it was just like wow like you know like wow like it was just so so like life-changing to me to see that many people like it was just like amazing because there's no limit on what God can do and all these people deciding to like just commit their life because ultimately like that's what this is is a commitment and you know with me you know I was like I don't know why it was like coming to my head in this moment but so I got in two car accidents in the past week yeah I've gotten in two car accidents in the past week and you know like I'm still here in, in neither instance did I have to be rushed to the hospital you know or anything like that or whatever and I just like thank God for it like yes instantly frustrated in the moment because I'm just like are you kidding me both of them um I've been rear-ended and um I'm just like like why does this keep happening to me like why does this keep happening to me and you know it's crazy like the curveballs that'll get thrown at you it's crazy the curveballs that'll get thrown at you when you're getting closer to something you know and um it was just like not necessarily like setbacks not necessarily like setbacks, but it was just like really showing me like Aisha God has something for you. And you know, it's ultimately a test for me. I felt like I was being tested more than anything. And I'm just like grateful, you know, like I'm just grateful. Like I still have my car. I didn't have to get it totaled or anything like that. But I'm just like, wow, like why does this keep happening? But at the same time, it's like we have to we have to thank God for the situations that he's placed us in, you know, whether it be a good one or a bad one, you know, make the make positives out of these negative situations. And that's what I really had to learn. And yeah, so I'm going to close out this vlog for now because, um, yeah, like I want to do this in the future. Like I feel so I feel so comfortable, you know, like I'm just sitting in my car, but um yeah like i hope you guys enjoyed this first vlog of mine i'm about to go to my family's house probably eat or watch movies something 
something I don't know I like to like really just chill out be around my family on Sundays um but yeah I thank you guys for tuning into this vlog as always be sure to like comment and subscribe for my new my new channel watchers or whatever welcome to my channel y'all I don't think I stated it in the beginning but um yeah I love y'all I am changing my posting i think i'm gonna i have to cut back like i'm i'm slipping on my commitment of every sunday so yeah i think i'm gonna just be safe and say twice a month i'm gonna post um but yeah if there's more videos to come hey so be it but um yeah i'm just getting like a lot of uh responsibility that's that's been making me slip up a little bit so i do apologize for that but yeah be sure to like comment and subscribe i hope you all enjoy my very first vlog and yeah i will see you guys when i see y'all no i'm just playing i'll see you guys next time love you peace